Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> no. Time for bladder check. Check. So it's a show? It's a lifestyle. It's a religion. <laughs> My emotions! My emotions! I'm still French. Ouais, c'est pas faux. I'm a woman, Mary. I can be as contrary as I choose. Non, moi je crois qu'il faut que vous arrêtiez d'essayer de dire des trucs. Hello, hi, I'm Laura. I'm gonna watch Gen V season 1, episode 4, middle of the season, guys. That's it, middle of the season, of this first season of Gen V. If you don't know it, I'm reacting to Gen V. I already watched the three first episodes. If you want to see my reaction videos for them, I'm gonna put the link into the eye for the playlist that I made for this show in which you can find all of the reaction videos into the chronological order. And I'm gonna put the link also for the playlist that I made for the boys because clearly I watched, I reacted, I love the boys. So if you want to see all of my reaction videos about the show, you have that, you know, into the playlist that I made for the boys. Okay, that being said. <laughs> oh! No. <laughs> That's really an issue. Like really sometimes I have thoughts and I have debates into my mind in just one second. And for someone who is outside, it's really rough to 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 be like, what? What is happening? What do you want? And all. I was really like talking about the boys, and I was like, okay, we have Ashley and characters like that who are into this show and that we know from the boys. But at some point, are we gonna have a real connection with the boys with? the original show you know that at the end of the final episode that we had for the boys you know the last uh, the last season we had some characters and i suspected them you know that they were coming from gen v so we know that we're gonna have gen v characters into the boys but are we gonna have the boys characters into gen v for a real reason you know for really doing something, being involved into a narrative arc or something like that. Uh, I'm wondering about that. You know, I'm trying to imagine when can, could they intervene and all. Like Ashley for sure, Starlight no, Amlander. Amlander, it would be logical for him to, to intervene, but <laughs> for the budget that it would cost to have that actor only for maybe just one scene, I'm not sure that they're gonna put that budget on it, on him. Maybe Deep or A-Train, it would be easier for them. And for our guys, like, I don't see the reasons why Yui, Butcher, they would intervene into that university. Even if right there they are trying to discover what are the woods, what is happening right there and they are suspecting that into these woods they are taking kids and they are making experiences on them. They know that Sam is right there. They know that someone lied about Sam being killed. They know that their friend also Luke died after killing one of their teachers that he was involved and in all. Like, it's information that our guys, Yui, Butcher and all, they could use, they could appreciate to know, so that's why maybe in fact at some point they could be involved also into this story. I don't know, we'll see about it. Right now, we're gonna watch one more episode of Gen V. I'm really like, okay, so Emma got arrested. Emma is gonna be into the woods, block into the woods, but Emma... She has a family who is really present, you know, a mother who is really present. Okay, they just had an argument and maybe the mother is gonna think that her daughter is mad at her, that she's really ignoring her. But at the same time, she's really like that with her daughter, so maybe she's gonna try to, to have news about her no matter what. And we have Marie, for sure, and all of the other ones who know where she went and who can try to to save her. Meaning that Marie and Jordan, they, they're gonna get involved into what Andre did, what Kate knew but didn't want to do. It's gonna be great, it's really gonna be great. I love during the previous episode some moments that we had, like for example, to have Emma and Marie finally 
being real friends you know okay the situation was a little weird it was during Murray peeing it was a little weird but clearly they need a friend to have a best friend to to have someone to whom they can say everything who is going to be there for them truly so I'm glad that now they're going to be that for each other I loved also a lot Jordan's moment with their parents even if it was rough to watch even if it was emotional even if it was in fact sad for Jordan to realize that their dad is never going to appreciate them for who they are truly clearly the dad wants a boy and is focused on the fact that he has a boy and he's really like that thing you know about being a girl it's a phase or it's just your power which is made like that but when you are a girl you're using your power but you're not really you and for Jordan it hurts to not be considered for who they are and I think that you know the show is really using well that character to talk about all of these issues that transgender person and that transgender person and LGBTQ people in fact in general can live you know these experiences about being rejected by their parents not being understood by their parents also all of the things about the professional aspect the scholar aspect about not being considered about the fact that you can be the best into your job into your your studies and all of that you're going to be considered less and you're not going to be top one because they don't want to give you as an example and they don't know what to do with you do you understand what i mean it's really rough to watch but i think that it's good subjects to talk about on television with a show like that with a character like that so it's really cool but yes emma is gonna he was just arrested it can only be bad you know, she just killed someone from the inside by going into his brain. Ew! But her meeting Sam, I can ship this too so easily, so quickly. Really? Already, Emma is my favorite character. I didn't hide it. I love the fact that she's just nice, you know, and she's open like that, and she's so cool. And she has, I'm repeating it, that social intelligence with people with how to be with people and just to be nice and to not expect anything in return and it can be a default because of that she was used by that other girl who revealed her secret and stuff like that but for me it's really showing her social intelligence in the sense that she she's pure for that for who she is how she is and she's not lying about that for people to build our relationships with people and that's so cool for me it's really a social skill that she has and that I truly see and appreciate with her but yes Marie normally is gonna be finally adopted you know by the group she told also a real background the fact that she killed her parents and how it happened oh and we discovered also about Kate's background about her brother that she sent away when she was a kid she didn't know what she was doing that moment and I'm still wondering about the fact that they never found his dead body or anything like that like do I have to consider that the kid is dead or maybe at some point he's gonna reappear like that maybe he went into the woods and we don't know about it the fact that she sent him away when they were into the woods it's already a parallel that we can make really to have the reveal of your power like that for Kate it's as awful you know disturbing uh, and all of that than for Marie but Kate really made that job on herself to understand that she couldn't know and she's not the one to blame and her parents who never explained to her what happened what they did to her they are a little to blame for that because if they would have warned their kid maybe something else could have happened if they would have watched well also their kids uh, you know seeing your kid your boy going away like that into the forest normally you know you're paying attention to him uh, you're keeping your eyes on him normally they didn't do it bon. okay i'm gonna stop this intro right now let's go for this episode remember that if you want to have my patreon 
on which you can find all of these reaction videos earlier. We have two episodes of Advance for Gen V, I think. You have that information on in the description. You have the full opacity for everything and you have two options on my Patreon. You have a longer reaction part with the level 2 and the full reaction part with the level 3 if you can be interested by that. Okay guys, let's go for this episode! Okay, this is Greg and I'm some strong way to go the boy ever was. And no one contains him like that. That's pain then. Uh, first is stronger than his brother, second, you didn't see... You didn't see Emma, you didn't arrest Emma, and she went away with them. Because if all finds out about this doctor, I can promise you and I get skull up next. A tiny, tiny shoes. She did it. And of all people, you went to Emma? You didn't know her and you asked her that thing. Well. Number one, number two, and still five. Wow. Well, that's a Congrats. Rankings? Really? You got your fucking problem. Turns out the school is a fucking Mangala health clinic. We don't know who's in on it. If, if Brick was. Maybe other professors, maybe Vichy. Oh, you loved Brick's. Too much. You're just gonna end up like that fucking cricket. Ew! Emma. Uh. The lost girl who's in deep shit. Her name is Emma. Wherever Emma is, it's not here. Mm. I told you not to do anything stupid. But I never fucking listened to. This girl could be dead, Andre. We are in over our heads. She's not dead. She's out and with some. About that. Your brother died. What are you talking about? Nothing could kill Luke. He's, 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 he's too strong. He killed himself. He killed himself? Mm hmm. Like, what did they bury if you were not truly dead? I'm Tech Knight, and I won't stop searching until I found the whole truth. The rising star took his own life. The wild and the golden boy, who had everything, do it. This oh, you're gonna create some entire narrative around that? And I won't stop plunging its depths until I get them. <laughs> And you're not going to get the old truth about it, you're going to get Ashley's propaganda about it. Hashtag why did Golden Boy do is still trending, number one. Yes, but... What has Ashley told you? Did she tell me that Golden Boy killed Brink in a misguided attempt to rescue his brother from the woods? Ah, so you know the world truth cover. To make sure no one else knows. And how do you intend to do that? Well, the usual misdirection, obfuscation. I would love to chat with Golden Boy's brother. Yeah, for background. Sam, is it? Oh no, I'm afraid that's not possible. He's far too dangerous. No, 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 he escaped, and that's why. I'm gonna need access to the tapes from campus surveillance. Oh, and a couple of reflectors from the film department. Fucking Roy forgot her bounces. <laughs> You're already annoying. Fuck. Oh. I'm not gonna 
feel sorry for you. Rufus, right? You're a fan, Rufus? Yeah. Absolutely. Celebrity, astral projection, clairvoyance, and you are. Marie. Uh, number two. I'm fucking with you. You're ranked second. Everyone knows you. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, so. You're looking for your roommate, but she's not the only girl you're looking for. Hmm. Sister. There are other ways you can thank me. Bell! Right, this is insane. Hey, come on, I'm fucking with you. You have a weird sense of humor. Do you really find her? Yeah, I just need something that belongs to her. I can see your friend. Where? Is she, is she okay? She looks rough, and she's with some dude. You intervened really uh, right on time, Jordan. Are you okay? That was fucking dope. How'd you do that? No you have his blood, his, his no. dick's blood on your face. Well, what were you thinking? Asking him for help. I can't just do nothing. You are unbelievable. I would kill to be number two. You're really gonna throw it all away? I'm not throwing it all away. I'm not, but Emma's my friend. What happened to you? You don't know anything. You're leaving the fuck alone. Maybe I was wrong. You're full of shit. That's how you sing Jordan, but no, you're wrong. Right. You're just scared. Tech fucking night is on campus. If he finds out what you're doing, you're lucky you end up in prison. He fucks people up. Since when do you care about anyone not named Jordan? And what do you know about him, in fact? I already I talked about it. I felt something between them. them. You didn't fucking did. I exploded his dick. Because I distracted him. So just you can make a good team. Talk about and maybe a good couple. Well, you hear me? This was bad. Won't be able to see you. Gentlemen! Okay. Need any touch ups for you? Andre and his father, superhero and god you trustee, Polarity, join us now. Let me start with Really? The Is the light like that? So. Why does he do it, Andre? I don't know. I think it's obvious. He couldn't hang it. He just wasn't strong enough to handle the pressure. That's not his stronger than all of us. Well, that must have been hard for you, knowing that you'd never beat him. No, it's fine. Fine. Don't. You've always been angry at Golden Boy. No, I loved him. You gave your whole life. Don't fuck. You fuck them up, like. Yet you drop out of criminology and change your major to hero management. She did. I was gonna be his manager. How did you not know he was this disturbed? Wish I had known. You want to make her cry, your nestle. Take that glove off and take your fucking hand off. How long have you been eating Golden Boy's girlfriend's whole? Is that why you blew him so? They they <laughs> slept after. You're a fucking hack. No, no, no. No camera can hide the fact that you're just you're just a small man playing fucking hero because you've never been one. What kind of hero is a fucking chicken shit do anything heroic? Fuck this! Fuck you! Done. Talking for both of you. We'll find it in the end. You're a uh, big you. No, I'm not glory. You you're meeting that. alphas over real time. Oh, you always do that. Whenever I say something nice, your the voice is all twisty. Like it isn't true. No. I was judged for what's humiliating. I used to put stuff up my butt with my wife. Yeah, no, it wasn't for fun. And honestly, after what you did for me, I would uh, eat your puke. It's so weird to say it. That.